In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create machining operations in a WeldMint. The file that we're going to use for this lesson is called machining.iam, and it can be found in your Chapter 11 Exercise folder. Machining operations are usually done after placing in the welds. So, for example, we may want to place in a spot face or remove some material from a given part. So we're going to start off by making the machining environment active. So I'm just going to double-click on machining in the browser. And you'll see that our panel has changed here a little bit. Again, we have a lot of tools that we're used to. So I'm going to start off by actually making a plane the active sketch, just like you would at the part environment. But you'll notice something that's very different here. None of the parts grayed out. And the reason that that is, is that this feature is going to be at the assembly level. It will not affect the parent file itself. So what I'm going to start off by doing is just drawing in a line segment and you'll notice as I go back and move my cursor over these points, it's not snapping to that. So I'm going to just hit the escape key. And from the panel down here, I'm going to scroll on down. And we're going to go back and we're going to select on Project Geometry. In this case, I'm going to select the three edges. And then I'm going to come back up and draw in a line segment. And we'll make it perpendicular and make sure that it's coincident to those edges. Just hit D on the keyboard and let's dimension off that line segment. We'll place it in at 12. Return. And then I'm just going to do an extrusion for that top face right there. And let's change the distance to 2. Spin the model around. As you can see, we're going to remove 2 millimeters worth of material. Go ahead, click OK. Spin that around. And let's place in one more. So I'm going to repeat that procedure. I'm going to make this top plane the active sketch. I'm going to draw in a circle. And let's switch our view. So we're going to look at it from the plan view. So again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the project geometry tool. I'm going to project that top edge. And then let's go back and place in a couple of constraints. So I'll apply a vertical constraint to the center of the circle, to the midpoint of that line. And then I'm just going to hit D on the keyboard, and let's dimension it off to the center point. Again, I'll place it in at 12. Let's give it a diameter of 20. And then what we'll do is click Return. Click on the Extrude tool. Again, I want to remove material. So you notice when I'm doing the Extrude here, with the machining operation, all I can do is remove material. I can only do a cut. I cannot add material or do an intersect. Very similar to what we were able to do with the preparation. So let's change the depth to 1. Go ahead, click OK. And our machining operations have been created. Now let's just verify that the feature that we created does not affect the parent part. I'm going to open up these files. And as I spin it around, you'll see that the feature does not exist there. So let's go ahead and open up the green plate as well. And as you see, as I spin it around, the cut that we placed at the assembly environment does not exist. And the reason it doesn't exist at the part level, it only exists here at this specific assembly. So any other assembly that this file would be used these machining operations will not exist. This is going to click return, get out of the machining environment. 